with me, and I was in your ex, and you knew my shit, and you read all my shit when I was with you. You a fake ass, trick ass. Bitch. Oh! So I probably say about maybe a year ago, I met this person named Omari. Oh, okay, you talking about him? Yeah, okay. the very first time, like I met this person named Omari or whatever like that, and we was kicking it or whatever like that. Well, we weren't kicking it; we were just talking. We could never meet face to face or whatever. Like that. Okay, right. <laughs> we never met face to face or anything like that. But all of a sudden, like maybe after a month of talking, like all of a sudden they got ghosts. Mm -hmm. I ain't really paying no attention to it or whatever like that. So just recently we started back, um, you know, talking or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. I happened to go over to David's house and Courtney was over there, and so you know. Me and David was having a conversation in the um, kitchen, and you know I mentioned a, a name, mm -hmm. whatever. And so as I was walking out of the house, Courtney, you know, gave a description mm -hmm. of you know what the name that I mentioned, right. you know, what they look like or whatever. I was like, yeah. I was like, how you know them? They just said, you know, Atlanta's a small place. So I was like, okay. Right. So immediately, mm. you heard that? What did I say? Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> as I got home, I proceeded to go to my iPhone 10. Right. And uh, what a bitch gotta say? She got an iPhone 10. She got a seven too. Okay. Oh. Girl, I got an eight. What you saying? I, I got an iPhone red. <laughs> I proceeded to go to my um, iPhone and I decided to text Omari and I was like, hey, do you know such and such, you know, and then I didn't get no reply or whatever like that. So I paid it or whatever, went to sleep. So the next day I woke up in the morning and then, you know, I got a reply that's like, I don't even want to talk about it. I know I already know what you're going to talk about. I was like, no, just answer the question. So come to find out. Why you didn't give me a heads up? So come mm. to find out, they did know who I was talking about and this um, Omari just happened to be Courtney's. Um, ex of five years or whatever like mm. that. Your Courtney. Right. His Courtney. Mine, so. the one that I ripped the teddy bear up for, the one I was crying like a dumb black bitch behind, the one that I'm <laughs> tragically in love with, the one that I would do anything for, I would take a mother bullet for. So, <laughs> after finding that news out, you know what I'm saying, you know, I, you know, I had to, you know, mm -hmm. do some little more investigation, you know, they say it's always three sides to every story. Right. You know what Recent? I'm saying? Three, three sides. Three, three, three sides. sides. Oh. You know, it's always dead, the other person in And lies. the truth. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here contemplating that down at the scoop and stuff. I'm like, okay, should, mm -hmm. I, should I talk to David? Should I tell David? I'm like, when he left my house that night after the other person asked him, you know, Yada Yada. Omari? Yada, like, no, not, no. Courtney. 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 Okay. After Courtney asked me all the questions, Courtney told me, hey, that's my psycho ex. Now, he had told me way ahead of time uh -huh. that when he and his ex broke up, mm -hmm. the ex knew who I was. The ex was following me on Instagram. He knew. He said that because the ex had seen a bunch of pictures of us. Oh. You know, he had already screen captured stuff, knew who my friends were. But why the ex so, screen capture and shit, though? He, from what he says, uh -huh. the ex is 5150. Uh -huh. Most crazy. Yeah. And then he said to me, well, just he was like, well, just be careful, yada, yada, so on and so forth. I was like, okay, okay cool. I'm not afraid of a basic coming after me. Oh. I'm not. I'm not. You want to come, come hard, because all this soft shit will go out the window. Right. <laughs> okay, be careful what she <laughs> say. She going to find her. <laughs> anyway. I was, I was so hoping this conversation wasn't going to go like this, but uh -oh. it's out there. Is that? <laughs> anyway. Right. So, just, I, I you know, I came to Dave. I said, hey, David. I said, so, um, you know that boy that I've been talking to named Omar? And they was like, yeah. They was like, I already know. Mm. I so, hold on, wait. So, 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 so the people would know, you used to talk to Courtney. Right. And you're talking to Omar. Correct. Omar is Courtney's ex. Yes. Correct. Who is your ex, which is Courtney. Mm-hmm. Bitch. <laughs> so, right. So, I do feel some kind of fucked up ass way because... It's your trifling ass should have motherfucking said something when you saw me that first day. You could have pulled me to the side and said, hey, I'm such and such as ex. I feel that that was disrespect because if you knew me and I didn't know you. Girl, we ain't got to the mall yet. We ain't got, you just, oh, girl, we ain't got to the mall, girl. So, uh -huh. so before, you know, Courtney was at uh, David House, uh -huh. you know, we sent the text or whatever like that, and we are now came to the conclusion that Omari and Courtney are exes and all that right. or whatever. About two weeks before that happened, uh -huh. we went to the mall. It was me, David, uh -huh. and who else was with us? Just this way, uh, uh, yeah, him. Okay. So we <laughs> went to the mall or whatever like that. 
And um, we went to go see Omari mm -hmm. or whatever. So, you know, we chilling, whatever like that. Now, mind you, the crazy part about it is all this while, while, you know, we sitting here talking to Omari, David having a conversation, they kicking the date. Not knowing who cool, each other were. Friendly, whatever. David don't, David is dumbfounded, don't know who Omari is. Okay. But I'm no, dumbfounded. I you don't You didn't know, know that they knew. Who, I, I know Omari, but I don't know the whole background Yeah, the backstory. Story. But Omari is the only one Already knew. Know. Yeah. So, that was kind of... You know, shady because I felt like you know if that was the case, he should have said he something. Pulled, you know, David to the side and said, "Hey, you know, I, I I don't know if this is the right time to say this or tell you this, but yeah. I mean, I'm such and such, you know, or whatever." So even after that, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have a conversation about. It. He didn't even let me know, you mm -hmm. know, that he knew who uh, David was or whatever like that. Now we're gonna fast forward. Mm -hmm. Now that we know what's what or whatever like that. So you know, I you know, ask the question, say, well, hey, why did y'all break up? So he said the reason why we broke up is because, you know, Courtney never had time. He didn't know how to be affectionate mm -hmm. or anything like that. And I was like, you know, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, damn, I was like, that's kinda funny because that's, you know, some of the same shit that, you know, I hear, you know, sis say. Mm -hmm. Like you know, he always say he gonna come visit me and then he don't never keep his word. He don't never come and stuff like that. And the bitch go into depression. That is true. He did have a problem with time. But a lot of it I was understanding of because, you know, hey, you work two full-time jobs, whatever, whatever. Oh, I always girl. make excuses girl, for me. Girl, she was not a daddy, girl. Right. You topped off her hair, girl. She, yeah, that's I when did. you went into your holiday. The girl, the girl topped Talk off her hair. Talk about she don't understand. And then tore up a f***ing bed. Yes, yeah, so, so you weren't understandable. Right at no, at the end, I... I you want, girl, you went crazy. You so, went 5150. So, the shit was crazy. <laughs> she always like excuses so for me. I, I, I told David, I said, David, I said, honestly, I just think you need to, um, I didn't want to go too deep into, you know, what I had discovered. And yeah. Stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I said, David, I just think you need to leave Corey alone or whatever. Because at that time at the mall, y'all found out now, right? Uh -huh. No, but I just think, you know, now that we know what we know, I just feel like, and I, I'm i hearing two sides of every story, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I got my own version that I believe, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like Courtney is playing you this uh -huh. way and then playing this person that way. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, I feel like your loyalty lies with Courtney because mm -hmm. that's your ex as well. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. naturally, you're going to believe what he say, you know, over what I'm hearing from Omari. You know what I'm saying? About their relationship. So, I mean, it is what it is. At the end of the day, the shit is just messy as hell. And yeah. it's just too much to deal with. And you should just be done with it. But how did y'all find out that... Courtney and Mari dated at the mall. He oh. told you after y'all left? No, no this no, was no, like weeks mall. later. This was, this was, yeah. This, this was, was like weeks later. A few days ago. So and the it. crazy part about it, the night that Courtney said, hey, ask me, you know, do you, what old Mari looked like or whatever like that. It just so ironic when I, you know, was doing my discovery and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I said, when was the last time y'all supposed to hang out? He said, oh, well, we was supposed to hang out Thursday. I was like, oh, Thursday. Mm. He was like, yeah. I was like, he was like, but, um, I had, I had switched shifts with somebody, so I had to work. So I was like, oh, okay. Mm. I said, that's funny because y'all was supposed to hang out Thursday. And when, I guess when y'all didn't hang out Thursday, that's when Courtney decided, I'm going to call up sis and I'm going to go hang out with sis. So Courtney came and hung out with you on Thursday? He hung out with me, but he had said beforehand that he was going to hang out with me. Do you think he already knew that he wasn't going to hang out with Amari though? I don't know. Uh, I, he I knew. Because, he knew because Amari because called he, and said he was going to go to work. He, right. So you was basically a backup. What you think? I drank to that. Mm. So, and then ironically, uh -huh. right after he left Sus' house, he goes to hang out with... Oh! Wait, he went to hang out with him after he left me? No, <laughs> well, he Saturday. Left on, no, on Friday. They hung out on Friday. Mm. He hung out with him? Oh, you didn't know? He did. They and I drank to that. They went, <laughs> they went and did a little shopping and had lunch and stuff. And stuff. Dang. Was that when he spent the night at his house? Oh! They, he took him out to dinner? And I they, I, I DK. I just know they had lunch and it's um, Courtney coming over today. From what, cook? from what I was told, he I was told. Bitch. Okay, from what I was told, I was told that they had lunch. They went out and did a little shopping or whatever like that, and then they both parted. Do and you went, buy someone some shit? Who's your ex? I went, will not buy my ex. No, I'm. Not, I mean, I'm I buy not, my. Ex I'm not stuff. saying that I'm he ain't saying, saying that they I'm bought stuff. That Courtney bought him stuff. But I'm the point is, they went out they went together. Out shopping. I'm not. I don't know that you know those details or something like that. But girl, but you knew what's going on when you found when y'all found out after the mall situation. I don't know. I feel some type of way because I mean, I I don't have no loyalty to Courtney or anything yeah. like that. But I mean, I just feel some type of way because I feel lied to as well mm -hmm. because like. You know that this is my best friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if you know my best friend and you know our situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you could have came to me and talked and said, to me. And hey, said, hey, I dated hey. your best friend. And then, 
But aside from all that, you know me trying to be the understanding person. The only thing I said, they actually said that they want to have a conversation, a sit down. Oh, with David? With, uh, with David. He said he wanted to have a conversation. That's what set me off enough to go ahead and curse uh, Courtney out. Why would you go? But why would you go? And see, this is shit that get me. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Why you be mad at the other when you should be mad at the? No, no. You yeah. Know what I'm, saying? I'm not. I have nothing against him, but I look at it like this: If my ex husband was to stand in my house uh -huh. and bring his new, uh -huh. I don't have a god thing to say about what we went through because what we went through is what we went through i'm not gonna bash him and yeah. say anything to the new bitch whatever y'all go through is what y'all go through uh -huh. so i'm not i don't feel that it's your place as the ex to come in and play captain save a hoe because but, bitch, you was foul in the beginning when you should have told me who the fuck you were it's one thing to be shady but it's another thing to be trifling so you're mad at courtney or omari i think he Both. mad uh, omari because omari should have told him who he was when they met them all right yeah because like if you laughing in my face and you already screen recorded me and i mean you know who the hell I am. Because this is what Omar has said to me. I've seen some of the posts that he posts and I can see that, you know, he going through it or he been going through it. I would think as being, just being a human being, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that you would reach out up. and say, hey, he saw you know what I'm saying? That I sent to him Ooh. and he told him, oh my God, that Ooh. boy really loves you. That's what Omari told Courtney? Yes. Other than the fact that they didn't, they weren't forthcoming with the information that they knew who you were. Right. When you met them face to face. If other than that, you have no gripes and no issue with them, let's try to be respectful and not call the person a bitch, a basic bitch. <laughs> and, what and you want me to say? Oh, I've never, I've never held my tongue. That's not my, my issue. My issue is I don't like a fake. Daryl said you even a couple hundred things. No, it's not even like a fake. Uh-uh. It's not even like a fake. You fake. Uh-oh. 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 Don't say that. 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 And I was f***ing your ex and you knew my shit and you read all my shit when I was with you. You a fake ass, trick ass bitch. Oh! <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't piss you off to make you say that. Oh, That's a motherfucking faggot. We totally different. We two totally different. Oh. Right? That would piss you off. That would piss you off if you was with somebody who knew about you beforehand, who's trying to, you know. Right, and, know and, and in your face right. at the store and didn't tell you they knew you. Like I said, I would be mad about that. But, but she, I mean, she called her a bitch. <laughs> I mean, this, it, is I mean it, is. it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but what hold about on, Courtney? Now, but hold on, you just call this person everything under the sun. Fake, bitch, faggot, all of this shit. <laughs> whatever like that. But at the end of the day, just like he knew, uh -huh. Courtney, Courtney knew. knew. And at the same time, your, li your loyalty lies with Courtney. Courtney and so he was he laying up with you and shit. He should you. have been one. If he can see and tell you, oh, my ex knows who you are. But my he, ex knows this. No, he, he it told was, me. Personally, personally, in my personal opinion, right. it was his run. Because long before you met Omari at the mall, Courtney had been had been told you that my ex knew you who you are. So he should have he been. He told me that so the he ex should, knew who I was. Exactly. And the ex but did he, me on but Instagram, but, but I didn't know him. him. But did he tell you who the ex was? Mm. So, cause you probably did not just technically, it, it was, <laughs> she gonna make technically, excuses for it was his responsibility to tell you. Because right. he, if he can tell you, oh, my ex know who you is, my ex is following you on Instagram, then bitch, why won't you tell me your ex's name? Right. So it was his responsibility to tell you. Because he told you that over what, nine months ago? When because he if he would have told you the ex's name, that could have clipped the Daryl. He'd be like, oh, Mari. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, hey, do you all know this been, All this shit could have been taken care of nine months ago. Oh. Either way, it don't matter because I already cussed his ass out. Who, Courtney? But so, you see, but he coming up, you gonna cook for him today. I said I was gonna cook for him. <laughs> well, who you cooking for then? So the moral of the whole. Who are you cooking for, sis? Down. I'm going to dinner. I ain't cooking for okay, nobody. Okay, who are you going to dinner with? <laughs> Courtney. I didn't say that. Who? Not Courtney. Right. <laughs> How long have you and Courtney been going through this, sis? Since he got here. David, how long you been here? Four years. This is at the old That's place too, right? Yes. We've been dealing with this since the the, the murder of a teddy bear. <laughs> that part. Enough is it's enough. It's enough. Like, yeah. bitch. Like, I'm going to need you to put your big girl panties on, you know what I'm Right. You always not tell her. Not But no, she always. Right. Not the one with the holes, holes in it, girl. <laughs> this nigga told me that if it was to come around, if mm -hmm. Courtney said he wanted to be back with him, he would. Oh. So I'm like, well, shit. What the? So what does that leave you? So why am I here? Why don't I play devil's advocate? He just said, because if the mother coming by my Courtney, house, Courtney just said, ask him. If you know Courtney's coming tonight, why don't you invite Mario over tonight? Child, they Do just it. said they get off in 30 minutes. Do it. He's I'm coming down. over at 7. Okay, and he can stay here for oh, a minute. I'm down. I'm going to say a whole lot, a whole lot. lot. He said that he's coming by my house at 7. Let's go get some Mexican food, because I'm the cutest girl on the face of the planet. I need another drink. Oh, girl. 
girl. <laughs> well, I don't know, y'all. Hopefully, we gonna see what happens. I don't know what's gonna go down, I but comment some. what do y'all feel? Let us know. We just, honey, we need to know what's going on because Susan's been doing on? this since 2016, honey. So we gonna see, honey. Hopefully, they come over and if they decide to be on camera, they let us do this live, girl. This what it is. What was it? Fuck it up. The host starts.